Welcome to this design analysis video on the legendary first generation Audi TT. It is now 25 years since Audi first revealed its TT Roadster design at the Tokyo Motor Show in 1995. The car looked so futuristic, many assumed production would never happen, also considering Audi was making rather middle-of-the-road cars at the time. But in 1999, only four years later, the TT actually went on sale. Before we get any further in this design review on the Audi TT of the first generation, please do like our channel so you'll be notified when new videos come out. Cheers! The TT sculpture is industrial. It's non-automotive, non-dynamic. The lines do not flow up towards the back, no, it's even symmetrical. The front and the back are a mirror image of each other. This symmetrical approach of the profile and the proportion remains unique to this very day. The bodywork surfacing is distinctive. It's harsh, it's crisp and rounded, almost like an extrusion profile or banded sheet metal. Instead of shaped organically, as is and was the norm in car design. Seen from the side, the rear graphics almost exactly mimic those of the front, combined with a perfectly horizontal waistline and sill edges, a near complete lack of the so typical wedge shape found in the large majority of sports cars. All this makes a truly unique piece of car design. Iconic, I dare to say. Especially for a sports car. A complete lack of defined bumpers, a systematic approach to the use of shut light, and a down-the-road graphic, which is non-aggressive. It is friendly and it looks almost even a bit naive. They all complete the consistent story of this design. The TT's slippery tail could actually cause sudden oversteer due to a lack of downforce. So, next to changes underneath its very smooth and silky skin, the TT got a small rear spoiler shortly after its introduction. I purposely left that out on this homage catch. The car is beautiful without it. Throughout, the TT is a consistent piece of design. From its proportional statement, seen from about 10 meters distance, to its surfacing, its skin, and even to its jewelry. The motorsport inspired aluminium fuel cap resurfaces in the TT's exterior and interior design and remains an important TTQ even in the current generations. This Audi creation has left its mark. Because of the TT, Audi emerged finally as a serious competitor to BMW, Mercedes-Benz and a lot of other premium brands. Something the brand had been striving for for years.